place. It's a place where not in the old days when uh, before the Western people came here was just the Aboriginal people. Nobody would live here. It was a place where many tribes would come once every seven years, and they would they would meet here and they would come to to gather to heal to 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 skill share to swap skills this sort of thing now uh, western people we come we love the place it used to be a whaling town they used to uh, kill whales here in the early days so then after that a whole lot of surfers came and hippies, hippies came and it was uh, uh, some very beautiful years of an amazing um, place where where surfies and hippies congregated and, and had a divine life living on the beaches and um, having good parties. Hey Sheila Rose. Oh, very beautiful times. <laughs> very beautiful times. Okay. And, um, and then as usual with every beautiful place on the planet you get the, the you get often the surfers first and the hippies come and then you get all the the people that want to live like that but they can't because they're still restricted by the by the world view of needing to conform so then you get all the people the conformists come with the money and that's generally when a when a place starts to suffer because they bring in the big money and then the people that all could live here a lot cheaper before they kind of get head out to the hills and they get out of there because um, because no longer can they afford to be here and so then there's people that are here that are not really the custodians anymore because they do not have the connection with the earth and so that's a little bit what's happening in Byron Bay these days so now you have a lot more like uh, chain stores and uh, people shopping so that's the reality now and, and uh, of course real estates come in and everyone needs to own the land and buy up everything and do what they're doing all over the planet and, and stuffing the place a bit but anyway it's it's still beautiful and the whales and the dolphins are still there and that's the magic that's yeah, here. That's so right that's now who's coming to the Byron Market is a lot of people that live in around here. They come and they make their livelihood here but also who comes now is a lot of people from the cities and from the Gold Coast that want to experience you know the alternative culture. So a lot of people come looking for that alternative culture and of course you know the paradigm is at the moment shopping you know the American thing has come in very strong you know born to shop so in one way you know that supports the people that live here yeah and so there's a as you see that's very colorful there's a there's a lot of very creative people here yeah there's music and there's theater and there's a great drumming circle at the end of every market which you no doubt will get some uh, footage of the drumming circle has been here for 30 35 years you know like every every market we've been coming a lot of times you know and, and dancing and drumming and yeah, that's, uh, that's very necessary. Okay, so uh, I work with the Mayan calendar. This is the Mayan calendar. Uh, we're in the coming to 2012. 2012 is, is uh, you know, programmed in everybody's cells that we are now awakening, that the planet is awakening. All right, right now I'm so excited because in Israel people are uh, you know, releasing their homes and living in the streets because they cannot afford the old paradigm rent as it goes up and up and up. Also in Washington, also in New York, all over the world right now. Il y a les vacances et il y a les voyages. Les voyages, on n'est pas comme en vacances parce qu'on c'est plus sur la durée, donc euh, ce pas les mêmes budgets. Euh, on essaye d'économiser pour pouvoir voyager plus longtemps. Et le voyage, c'est... Moi, j'aime bien cette phrase de Nicolas Bouvier qui dit « Parfois, on croit qu'on fait un voyage, mais c'est un voyage qui nous fait, qui nous défait. 
parce que voyager c'est aussi euh, se mettre euh, euh, prendre des risques et se mettre en se mettre en défaut et se découvrir aussi. Thank you.